Hey guys, so what I wanted to talk to you about today is why I sometimes feel like I want to give up on YouTube. So this morning when I woke up, I was very interested to see that a couple had received their 100,000 subscriber like silver play button and I mean it's so well deserved they're such an amazing couple it's probably the only couple I really kind of subscribe to I think or they maybe kind of appear as well but okay so they're one of the few couples that I, that I subscribe to and what I think is it's absolutely amazing I kind of it got me thinking about like how did they get so many people to watch their videos yet I'm making a lot of effort on my videos and I'm kind of getting nowhere. Uh, I haven't even got a hundred subscribers yet. They're at a hundred thousand. I'm not even at a hundred subscribers. And I just can't understand it because I've probably been making videos as long as they have. I started in the beginning of 2018 and I didn't really know what I was doing. I recorded on my iPhone for the longest time. In fact, I still record on my iPhone because despite having a Canon camera now and even having the G7X before I always just found that I always had my iPhone on me and the new iPhone is just so good that it makes no sense to use anything else because it just out of the box kind of works the, the way you want it to work but of course I do get that there's a huge difference in the depth of field and the more I learn to use uh, my EOS R, I know that I'll switch properly and, and be using this camera all the time. But anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. I feel like I've got something to offer. And if you had to ask me kind of anything about what I want to do, it's to inspire people. That's really like what I feel I have to offer. I'm 20 something years into my career as a designer. I've kind of reached the highest levels that I can within my current geography, I guess. And while things aren't always going perfectly, and I certainly want to kind of do other things, ultimately though, I am pretty successful. And by success for me, I'm pretty happy with the work that I do. I'm pretty happy with what I do. And, and the big reason for that is that I inspire people. So I was listening to something that they were saying in the video. So they were reading, let's just get you. So they were reading the note from YouTube and the YouTube kind of letter said something about your subscribers being inspired, challenged, or entertained. Now, I'm sure there's not a lot of entertainment factor. I think to experience who I am and where people have kind of maybe seen that I'm charismatic um, or something like that, it's, you probably got to hang with me. Uh, I've got my own way of doing things and I would generally say I'm light. I'm sure there's people who don't like me, but generally people who are around me like me and as long as they aren't resisting and pretty much putting up walls or acting like decks. We get along pretty well. I, I can't say that there's any issue there. So as far as entertainment, I get it. My videos are not really going to be that entertaining. I don't have, I'm not flying in helicopters. I'm not doing backflips. I don't travel to exotic destinations all the time. I get it. I, I'm okay with that. What I would say is that I do try to add a unique spin, but I know that I think we've been so sense is it sensitized? Center, yeah, you know, we we so sensitized. So, I don't know. Anyway, but we are like so politically correct these days that it's sometimes hard to be myself because I know that like somebody's going to take issue with everything I do and say because I have a little, you know. I have a little left of center. I do say things that I don't mean in a horrible way, but I could. It could be perceived that way, and, and apparently the way I speak can upset some people. And I think 
if you knew where I was coming from, I don't think anybody would ever take issue. And the really smart people and lovely people in my life understand me and are able to kind of relate, but they're a very small group of people. So I get it. Uh, I'm not always going to be everybody's cup of tea. Um, and so I do correct myself a lot. And so maybe that's why some of my personality doesn't come through. Still, okay. The next thing is challenged. Okay. This is, this is interesting because I think that challenge can be defined by a lot of things and I've got to then put it into context to what I'm able to put out in the world. So I would say I challenge people because I am offering them a point of view that might not be what they thought. And given that most of what I try to do is put in a lesson that's related to my industry, which is design and maybe self-development, then possibly that's why I would say that I offer some sort of a challenge. So I think it's that. I think from, from my context, I think the challenge comes in. Yeah, I actually will push you to think differently, to do differently and to be differently. If, if that's even a thing, I don't know if that's even a word. Anyway, carry on. So then the last thing is inspired. Do I inspire my subscribers? And I would hope so. I would hope that people could see that my story, if you've picked it up, is quite interesting. And while I've never unpacked it fully, I think if you watch some of my videos, you would see that I struggle with a few things. Life has thrown me a few kind of hiccups along the way and somehow I've overcome them to the best of my ability and while I'm sure everybody in hindsight has got like a better solution ultimately I've done the best I can and I would hope that comes across I would hope that my teachings come across in a way that people are inspired and interested so I can only hope that I do all those things and even though I'm nowhere near <laughs> 100,000, it's a thousand times more than the goal I wanted to try to set for the last few weeks. I couldn't even make 100 videos this year. I've done like 80. You, some of these people who've got 100,000 have done like 50 videos. And most of the videos that they do are literally just them sitting in their bedroom on the bed giving an update of their life. Clearly there's something going wrong here. Clearly I'm missing something and I do welcome any comment to you guys that please engage with me. I want to know like, what am I doing wrong? Because I've tried doing videos where like, I do lots of slides in between the detail and whatever. And that takes so much work, zero appreciation for it. If I just sit in front of the camera and talk, I get the same numbers as any other thing that I do. doesn't matter if it's me kind of recording my trips, kind of, it doesn't matter if it's me showing design tutorials, it doesn't matter what it is, I get the kind of the same numbers. So at this stage, I know that the best thing I have is my point of view. And I would hope that people would follow that and maybe skip past the fact that maybe I don't do huge B-roll sequences or I don't do a lot of slides that illustrate the point I'm trying to make. Maybe I do need to do those things. Please leave a comment to below and let me know. But I'm doing everything that I understand I should be doing. Are there limitations? Could my location be a factor? Possibly. Is it that I'm unknown? Possibly. Is it that people aren't really interested in design and leadership and self-development? The last one, I definitely think people are interested in. The other two, People should be interested in. If you're a leader in a business and you're not listening to somebody like me, I believe you're failing if you believe that design has a seat at the table in your organization. Then if you're a designer, if you're a creative and you're not listening to me, then I don't know. And I hear people all the time going, we're creators, we're creatives. We're not. Well, then I've got something to tell you. And so I can't understand how people aren't gravitating towards it. So if there's these little things I'm doing wrong, I've got to figure it out. Have I failed? In one instance, yes. I failed to make 100 videos 
by the end of 2019, which is a goal that I set for myself. But there just simply hasn't been the right days. There hasn't been enough going on. I just haven't been in the mood. Simple as that. I will not feel bad about doing that. Do I feel that I'm a failure? No, I failed to reach 100 videos. It's okay, not the end of the world. I'm, I mean, I have 50 something subscribers. I haven't hurt anyone. Do I want to reach 100,000? Yes. Could I make videos as a living? Absolutely. I think it'd be great at it. Have I found my niche? Maybe that's something I need to consider. Will I stop making YouTube videos? Will I give up? Well, I'm giving up on making 100 videos this year, but I'm not giving up on making YouTube videos. I think I need to probably prepare my videos a little bit better and maybe look, need to look at some of my weak points in my videos and improve them, which is something I try to do in every video, but I'll keep going. But I'm not going to give up making YouTube videos. So sorry to disappoint if anybody who was like, yeah, this dude's video sucks so bad. We're glad he's giving up, but no, I'm not giving up on that. We are, will be making a lot more movies. I currently believe that Instagram, Instagram stories, IGTV, your general feed, and even TikTok is a very good place to be making videos. So I'm gonna try and commit to one video a week on YouTube. We will try and put like a week's worth of effort into making that video as, let's just get this, inspired, challenged and entertained as they can be for my subscribers. But then at the same time, I'm using those other channels because they seem to be where people are constantly accessing. And I think it's like 150 times a day, the average person checks Instagram and people are constantly on this device. How could you possibly not be making video for here when YouTube is something, when you have time, you watch YouTube. And adding more than one video a day, I haven't seen that done. I, I, people don't watch 15 second videos on YouTube. I think Apple have done it, but I, I, I honestly don't think they get nearly the numbers that they should given the audience that they have. So anyway, I'm not giving up. Um, that's kind of more just a way of getting your attention. I hope I did. Uh, I hope that you will be inspired in 2020. I will try and make more videos before the end of 2019. I think I do have something to talk about. And yeah, I hope uh, that you. I'll catch you in the next video. My name is Craig Jamison. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.